Alex Jones here with breaking news and information. At a major conference yesterday, the head of the parent company that controls Google, Alphabet, which was established by the Central Intelligence Agency 20 years ago, came out and announced plans to censor Russian news inside the United States and other parts of the world. Now let's be clear, Google's already been doing this for many years and they've been manipulating search results, they've been delisting stories that were negative about Hillary, it's all been documented, it's in the WikiLeaks that Hillary was talking to Google every day. So Google's uh, parent company controller, Eric Schmidt, was speaking at a conference, we're gonna go over the article here in a moment, and said, hey, we are moving to delist um, Russia, Today News, Sputnik News, you name it. Just absolutely unprecedented, but it's there to set the precedent. Now remember, they just had hearings in Congress two weeks ago where Twitter, Facebook, and Google executives admitted that they were censoring InfoWars at lunch for fake news. They decide what's fake news. They're above the law, they're like God. And they said our fake news was a Paul Joseph Watson story talking about the Islamic truck attack that had just happened that day and pointing out that de Blasio had been warned about ISIS planning attacks in New York. That had been all over the news. That was a 100% real story. And a Republican congressman said, this is crazy. You're just saying this is fake news to weaponize your, your platforms and ban these people. This is very, very dangerous monopolies. So. They've been testing us. They've been incrementally bringing in this authoritarianism. Google will derank RT articles to make them harder to find. But then Eric Smith says, we're not banning them. I don't like censorship. Not letting you search for an article or putting it at the top when it fits the parameters because it's the most viral. That's what their algorithm was based on. Doing things like that is the very essence of censorship. So there's a lot of Orwellian terms here. But I've had big Washington insiders, big experts with high level connections to the CIA and FBI tell me the last three months that false flag cyber attacks against US interests to be blamed on Russia are imminent. Now you started hearing Hillary say, if Russia ever launches a cyber attack, we should physically bomb them. And then you heard that parroted by others. That's the globalist policy. Why in the hell would Russia do something like that? Then WikiLeaks, via Patriots and the CIA, releases the Vault 7 documents where the CIA, the criminal elements at the top, have been caught putting malware on hundreds of thousands of Russian computers to then launch attacks in the U.S. to blame Russia, but it gets worse than that. We also have the Soros group spending billions every year in Russia to overthrow its government with leftist NGOs over there also who are running anti-Trump operations in the U.S. through Facebook and Twitter. Then they turn around, even though those stories were negative Trump, or meant to stir up the country, and blame it on Trump saying, look, there's Russian collusion. That'd be like if hackers from China were in Austin, Texas, and then they hacked China and said, oh, look, the United States attacked China. These are false flags, and it's in the CIA documents we're about to show you, and it's admitted. And then our Pentagon sources, FBI and CIA, are saying they're ramping up, saying get ready for the Russian attack, and when it happens, they're going to have all these big sanctions and try to manipulate Trump politically into having to, quote, do something to Russia. This is obvious. This is one of the big plans they've got to destabilize the country further, destabilize the world, and try to push uh, Trump into a more neocon uh, bearing. Let's go look at the articles right over here. Now, here's RT. People say, oh, I don't believe this, that's RT. You can watch the video of Schmidt. You can see him at the event say all the things that are here. And David Knight's live on the air right now uh, covering it in there in the studio. So, so these are quotes of him saying, don't worry, we've already basically delisted Russian news. The thing is, they've done it to us, they've done it to conservative sites, libertarian sites. It all came out in WikiLeaks. They're not just starting this. They're coming out with it now because they can't hide it. It's totally illegal. It's massive censorship. They control 90% of the search results in this country. They're a huge monopoly in communications and the internet now. They're moving into every facet of our lives, fiber, you name it. 
Imagine the telephone company breaking in on a conversation you're having with somebody else and not letting you have that conversation. Well, already the smartphones won't let you type words, not just F-U or you know, S-H-I-T, but now it won't let you type other new words they're saying you can't use, like tranny or things like that. This is all the computers programmed to block our free speech, to block and control our lives all around us. And Google and others are getting entrance into China because they're going along with censorship here. They're advertising how well Facebook and Twitter helping get people arrested in Pakistan and Iran who say, I'm an atheist, I don't believe in, in Allah. They arrest them and then execute them in many cases. And Facebook, Twitter, and others help them. So don't think they won't do that here. This is the attitude they have. We've all seen the conservatives being banned and all of it. But uh, here it is. Schmidt appears and begins at the 107 mark. Uh, and then the whole question's right there. So that's from a Facebook video with Schmidt right there. And it's got all the quotes admitting uh, the censorship and how they're doing this. So it's, it's, it's the new fake red scare. Now, before I get into the latest false flag and the modern cyber false flag information, remember who popularized the term false flag the last 20 years? Yours truly. Who broke Operation Northwoods? Infowars. Uh, now, all these years later, they've released the Kennedy files and there is expansion on Operation Northwoods and the plan to stage terror attacks uh, inside uh, of the United States uh, to blame political enemies and launch a war against Russia again. Kennedy said no to the plan. His brother was for it. Uh, also, Bobby wanted to launch a terror attack at the, to the U.S. Embassy uh, in Central America in Honduras uh, as a uh, pretext. That was declassified in NSA files that were also released in the year 2000. I only covered what was first released and that researchers alerted me to, and I had guests on. Then ABC News and others covered it. Books were written. The media would just lie and say, Jones claims there's false flags. Jones claims the U.S. government wanted to stage events before. These are just events that got killed by Kennedy. They have staged events before. That is a known, admitted fact. So the fact is we've now introduced that term. We've had a big victory, but look. This came out a few days ago. JFK files, U.S. provoked, uh, U.S. contemplated fake Soviet attack to provoke war. And this is more on Northwoods. They were actually going to have U.S. aircraft not just painted up like passenger jets uh, so that they could blow those up and stage the deaths of Americans. They were going to have stolen MiG aircraft then actually attack and attack U.S. bases in the U.S., but also in Guantanamo Bay, uh, Cuba. So now we have more on Operation Northwoods. It wasn't just bomb movie theaters and stage mass shootings to blame their political enemies. Uh, it was actually using aircraft and stolen material to do that. Now, false flags are real. Let's move on to this. There's Dr. Jerome Corsi. There's his article from March of this year, Vault 7. It's in the official CIA documents. They admit these are real. They're not debating the fact that they're real. Vault 7, CIA can stage fake Russian hacking to undermine Trump. CIA keep Russian cyber attack techniques handy for false flags. Well, they've already been doing it. And it's now come out. They've had to admit in Congress that indeed most of it was anti-Trump stuff coming out of Russia. But it wasn't Russia. Again, geographically, somebody can hack into this computer and then attack the White House and say Alex Jones did it. And then it just goes on to break it down. And again, the new CIA stuff came out about Kennedy. It was already released by the NSA in 2000. So again, you think we just made all that up? The media goes, oh, Jones made it up. Snopes says, by the way, Northwoods is fake. And then we, and, you know, we just made it up. So, you know, and Snopes is God. The new Google censorship system has Snopes and PolitiFact that have been proven as phony as a $3 bill running it. But when you go fact check them, there's no fake news tab above them with fact checkers on them. But the New York Times, the Washington Post, Infowars, CNN, Drudge Report, we all have so-called fact checkers who, who aren't named. They're just from Snopes and, and, and PolitiFact. But then those people, there's no one watching them, you see. And so Soros partnered publicly a few months ago with Google to run this. That's mainstream news. So a literal Nazi collaborator that overthrows governments is the one now in charge of the beginning of the censorship. And they're just phasing new systems of censorship in every day, and it gets almost no coverage. They just reported in trade publications very dryly, like, 
George Soros partnered with Google and will have fact checkers overseeing what news makes it on the screens of Americans' computers. He's also partnered with uh, Twitter and Facebook and is going to be partnering with local schools and governments to identify extremists. And you're like, whoa, this is the guy funding Black Lives Matter that are out, you know, kill the cops, overthrow, murder everybody. And then they're running advisement of the police department. Mm. And they, they planned under Hillary to have strong cities come in. Loretta Lynch gave speeches on that where literally the UN would be advising our police. But now Trump is pulling us even out of UNESCO. So that's a very, very beautiful thing that's happening. Vault 8, WikiLeaks begins publishing source code for CIA hack tools. Again, where they can live time, not just attack your computer or a, or a government computer system from somebody else's computer, but they can live time have typing in whatever language it is or computer language and have notes where it's even the Russians discussing how they did it and even planning it on your computer or planning it on, on the cloud. Uh, so this is, this is just unbelievable uh, information that's up on InfoWars. Dot com uh, right now. Uh, but first, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Harrison, let's go ahead and go over here. Let's go see where David Knight is live right now. It's about to be 10 a.m. Central. David Knight's on for another hour. And of course, there's my broadcast, 11 a.m. Central. And uh, I'm just here at the office taking care of things, but I wanted to go live now. And David Knight's on other streams. And David Knight and the Real News on YouTube. Twitter, Facebook, you name it. Uh, you know what, before we do that, let me show people some, something else. You know, we're doubling down on the fight for America, the fight for the world. And there, I'm, there I am, that's, that's 21 years ago, protesting the thumb scanning going out at the DMV, saying soon they want you to do it to buy and sell, and, and then they want microchips. That's now all over the news. Little Merle Haggard right there. But... We got some of our Christmas trees coming up for the other studio. But here is the new high tech studio. It'll still be months till we can use it. It's got LEDs, so you can put up images. It's got all the big screens. That's an LED wall back there, so we can really document things for people and put big articles up and show video and show guests. And we're putting in the control room in there right now. This is what happens when you spread the word. This is what happens when you purchase the products. This is what happens when you pray for us because we're in this fight together. We're building the media system and the reporters and the crew and paying for the satellites and getting on the cable and TV stations. We're on like 20 something TV stations now, more than 10 major cable systems on basic cable in places like Houston. And we're not even really promoting it yet to the TV stations. We're not trying to get our own channel like Glenn Beck did where it's channel 2000 something. We just want to have it open to all the TV stations to pick up all of it or part of it. Some stations are carrying us 24 hours a day right now. And we're moving towards going about 20 hours a day live. So David Knight is in there. They've just gone to break at the end of the hour. How long till he's back right now? We're at one yeah. second. Uh, about five about seconds. Newswars.com. I was just making sure so I didn't barge in there and say hi to him. So here's our, one of our great crews in here working really hard, and we're just expanding this in the fight. And that's why they're having congressional hearings saying they want to shut us down, all because we're not part of the establishment, and we're promoting classic Americana. So there's David Knight in there. He's been covering uh, all of this today. Um, there's just so much going on, so much happening right now. So again, this is a total fight for the future of our republic. If you're watching on the live streams, please spread those links to everybody you know. Realize this is an information uh, war. We're at about half capacity right now. There's a lot of folks who are taking off the week of Thanksgiving. And we have the nighttime crew and others to come in. I'm also about to shoot a quick ad for our T-shirt of the month we just started, which is always discounted as a one-of-a-kind special edition. Uh, in one week, this won't be available anymore. We took the anti-fuzz communist George Soros symbol of anti-fascist, and we said we're anti-fascist, anti-communist, but we changed it to the American flag and the Gadsden flag. Uh, it's very, very, very triggering. Oh, there you are. This is the designer right here, Gavin Wentz. And then you've got on the arm, he didn't even know we were doing this. We've got on the arm, come on back in here, brother. We've got on the arm, 
the American Flag Infowars.com. And then we still sell these as a bestseller. We got them in black and in gray, Molon Labe, uh, sweatshirts. And again, this is how you fund the operation, spread the word, and meet like minded people because I'm literally taking 95% of the money that comes in here. And I'm building and I'm hiring. I put the rest back for lawyers to deal with frivolous garbage we have to deal with, Soros back groups. And that's just par for the course. And Trump's, get, Trump's got over 3,000 lawsuits against him trying to shut him down. We understand we're in a war. We're in a fight. We're not giving up. We're winning. But when you spread the links, like to this live feed right now or to David Knight, when you tell friends and family, hey, these are the folks changing the world, exposing the globalists, and we're changing the world together, and, and, and the... the New World Order wants to shut them down and admits they want to shut them down and is setting the precedent to shut down InfoWars and then Russian news, just having congressional hearings saying we work for the Russians. It's like saying I work for the Tooth Fairy. Uh, the Russia's pulling away from the oligarchs, though. Russia's pulling away from the central banks, trying to be a sovereign nation. So in that, it's true. Uh, you want to make any comments? Well, yeah. One thing I'd like to say is I've never been a real big fan of mesh hats. I've always found them to be kind of cheap. But this is the best mesh hat I've ever actually seen. It's got a nice, firm uh, front end of the cap and the bill. So it's actually really comfortable and it breathes well. So I highly recommend this hat, especially for anyone that might be involved in outdoor activities. This hat's really good. And by the way, I wasn't planning to do a plug. I was about to tape a plug later for this shirt because it's limited edition. There's only one week left to get it. And then when it's gone, it's gone that you designed. And this hat, if I... If you don't mind, I have a big head, but my son's head is as big as mine. But we went cap shopping one day because my wife and he made the joke that I look goofy in most hats, which is true. Um, and then I knew Richardson was one of the best hat companies you know, here in America for decades. So I went to four or five different shops, and I saw a Richardson cap uh, that just had the lucky symbol of a horseshoe on it. And I got it, and, and I contacted Richardson. And we got these made right here in America. And, the, and this is now our most popular cap ever. It's only been out about two months. It's got the great little patch shown on the front. You can also buy these patches for $5 by themselves. This is a top-of-the-line hat, really, really high quality. And now our T-shirts you know, come in nice vacuum-sealed bags. Uh, we're trying to come where the, where the hats are in their own box. Because that's what folks want. The point is, you wear this out. I think I haven't asked you this. What's, what's happened wearing this hat in Austin? Favorite thing to do is to wear this at Whole Foods and watch all the the, the liberals who think they have a uh, you know a predominance for healthy food and vitamin supplements and stuff. They freak out because one, we've got a really beautiful, happy family, and two, how the hell could I be wearing an Infowars hat at, at Whole Foods? So it's kind of fun. What do they do? They're like, like they like they they you know. They wince, pun intended. You know, they, they actually like... And it's because the all. media has lied to them and told them all these crazy things about us that aren't true. We told you false flags. It's all come out. We broke 16 years ago. No, it was before 9-11, almost 17 years ago, Operation Northwoods and all that. And, and now more comes out on it. And we're just telling you this stuff's real. And there's a reason, uh, you know, they go after us. There's a reason they demonize us because they know we're aware of what's happening, and it's that simple. So InfoWarsStore.com to get this shirt, uh, this hat, uh, and uh, this limited edition shirt that is going to be gone. Starting in a week, we're going to have the official shirt of the month where you sign up for auto ship and you get 25 to 50% off depending on the month on the shirt. Because we're trying to sell the shirts at low price, but some of them are like really nice fabric made in America. And, you know, the shirt costs you like 10 bucks, so it's hard to sell for 15 bucks and, and keep the lights on. But we'll have, you know, some shirts for $15, some for $20. But the point is you get big discounts when you sign up for the auto ship. That's how you get those shirts. And every month a new shirt just gets mailed to you. You can cancel any time. So we're going to have the shirt of the month coming. We've got a great new shirt next month. Gavin's working on some more. Uh, a man of many, many talents. But uh, this, this has definitely been triggering. A lot of news articles got written about this shirt. And when it's gone, it is gone. Now, if it's a really good bestseller, we might change the color, do it on a black shirt. But, but this shirt, one of a kind, uh, will never be printed again. And you really do need to get it now. I mean, I helped make this shirt. I ordered three of them. They were out of stock, so I had to wait a week. And I had to actually stand out with the delivery truck to even get the one. No, I remember because we get so busy. You came yeah. and you said, Alex, it's a limited edition uh because you're proud of the shirt, you wanted some, and, and we were just sold out. That is an issue. Well, we should just keep it where when we sell out, it's only a week. Just just say, 
you, know, you can still order, but it's delayed one week. But we're not all fancy like the CIA run Amazon folks. That's another thing. Everything they do is a dollar forty eight of taxpayer money on every package. Amazon ships. They have a special deal. Now they're about to get a law passed by the Democrats. We need to stop it with Trump. Where Jeff Bezos, who owns the Washington Post, wants to shut my website and Drudge Report down, claiming we're Russian agents. Uh, this this monopoly man, Jeff Bezos, what a monstrous person, fake liberal. Uh, he is uh, openly, uh, you know, just running around trying to get it where the federal government can only buy things like chairs and and you name it or tissue paper or toilet paper or tripods or cameras through Amazon, where it's special computers they send them and it's a portal. And you're only allowed to buy from him. I mean, this guy is just a monster. I mean, I'm not going to Whole Foods like I used to because of him now I'm buying it. He's just, and then he wants to shut me down. I mean, what a jerk, man. This video started about Google saying we're going to ban stuff and are already doing it. And don't worry, we're working on it. You ought to read. You ought to go watch the video. In fact, we ought to go, in closing, pull up the video and play Schmidt. Because they'll probably have Snopes say, Jones claims Schmidt's came out and said they were delisting news. Uh, you know, it's not true. Schmidt doesn't exist. You know, I mean, because it's, it's just crazy. Uh, here we go. Unbelievable. And that, I mean, I think we should play that or they'll say it doesn't exist. Well, they'll say it doesn't exist anyway, but we'll play it. <laughs> and he sits there and goes, oh, I don't like censorship, but we are working to shut them down, and we are not letting you find them. It's like YouTube now says they're going to put videos into a phantom zone where you can't share them and nobody can see them but you. But they go, technically, we're not banning you. You can look at your video you uploaded. <sighs> I'm so sick of these people. Is the volume up on this? Uh, no. Google is now working to reduce the presence of Russian media outlets yeah, in it. its news feeds. And with more details on this story now, we'll cross over to Caleb Morkin, who joins me live from Washington. Caleb, what's Google up to? Well, Eric Schmidt, who is the owner of, Al uh, of Alphabet Incorporated, which is the parent company of... By the way... Let me just point out, they're going to claim we're Russian agents for even showing you RT. They tattle on us in Congress and go, look, he linked over the last five years a thousand times to, 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 to our posted clips. And then we linked over a thousand times to the New York Times. It doesn't mean we work for the New York Times either. So, again, they just they prey on the public's ignorance. It, it is just truly sick. This may have loaded an actual video report after it because the report I wanted was just the raw video, but let's see. Of the tech giant Google. He was being interviewed, and when he was being interviewed, he was asked about RT and Sputnik, uh, which the person asking the question labeled as propaganda. Now, this is the exchange that went down with the head of the company that controls Google. I had a subscription for Google Alerts in German language uh, and getting them every day. Out of 10 results, between 5 and 10 every day were from Sputnik News, which is a Russian-German propaganda outlet. And when I clicked on them, uh, they were monetarized with Google AdSense. Um, is it really necessary to monetarize uh, Russian propaganda outlets with Google AdSense? So, so we're well aware of this one, and um, we are working on detecting this kind of scenario you're describing, and again, deranking uh, de -ranking those kinds of sites. Um, it's basically RT and Sputnik are the two. So as you just heard, the head of Google is saying he doesn't want to ban these sites, uh, but apparently if you search for stories in your news feed, uh, stories from RT and Sputnik will be way down. They will. Yeah, 20 pages in. And that's first phase. First they disappear you. First they put you in a ghetto, an electronic ghetto like Drudge warned. Here in these studios a year and a half ago, I guess almost two years ago, and then they just disappear you for, for, for real. And, and, and that's the plan. And I can play the congressional hearing uh, from just last week or week and a half ago where they said the same thing. Again, the congressman goes, at lunch, I saw that InfoWars was the top story on the New York event. He even called it terror. It's all, and they go, yes, sir. And he goes, yes. And he goes, so they go, sir, we banned it. We, we took it down during lunch. And he goes, good, good, good. And then he goes, but I want to take it down before it ever gets. He goes, we're working on it, sir. We're having automated systems in, and they'll they'll detect it and deal with it. You know why? By the way, I get Google alerts. That's not true. Sometimes 
if you've got 20, 30 Google alerts that come in, maybe in the top 10, there's a couple of Russia today or whatever. And you know why? It's because people see in America and the West, RT is better. It's kind of leftist actually. It's not even that good. And a lot of it's like kind of goes along with the whole leftist agenda, but side issue. And it's not that big a response. I, 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 I quit even going on RT and stuff because I don't get that big a response going on there. You know, I mean, it, it's, just, it's just crazy that everything is like RT or something. We're covering RT here because RT is covering this. You'd think big news like this would be out there. No, because the other media doesn't want to cover how it's being put to the top. The way the Google algorithm works is, I'm sure you know this, whatever's the most popular, they see that, oh, this is popular. This is the people's vote. It must be what is, must have broken first. No. We're just saying knowledge of the crowd doesn't matter. We're now not going to let things on Reddit or things on Dig or wherever, whatever really is voted up at the top, we're not gonna let that happen. We're gonna have super mods that make you think this was voted at the top, but we're gonna force feed it to you. Just like we'll have a video with a million views in one day, you go to the front of YouTube, it's never there. Uh, instead, it'll be something with 100,000 views that's corporate. They're force feeding it. And then they've even had YouTube executives go, oh, but if it's making fun of them and we let it go to the top. And then I go on there and I go, look at this thing with 7 million views. They thought it hurt, but everybody really loves it. They dial the views back to 2 million, mess up the audio, and then go, we fixed it. So even when they attack us and something goes viral, they go, oh God, he likes it. Because they know how accurate they are. They actually go with my belief that it's helping me. They then go block it, like the Super Deluxe videos. And then, and then Super Deluxe just stopped doing attack pieces because it was totally backfiring with young people. And see, I'm not Machiavellian. I should have gone, this is hurting me, stop it. Don't throw me in the briar patch, no, no. And then they would have just hit me more. In fact, it is making fun of me, Saturday Night Live attacking me, all the shows, Colbert attacking me, Trevor Noah attacking me, um, John Oliver, it's hurting me. Please stop. Please stop, Super Deluxe. Do not. Time Warner owns Super Deluxe. Stop it. You're getting to me. See, I've never been manipulative. I just, I, I really, because they've stopped and I, I really need the traffic, okay? <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Actually, is that is that a really sophisticated manipulation? Actually, maybe it is hurting me. Maybe you should <sighs> exactly bring back the attacks. Colbert, John Oliver, Trevor Noah, um, Sarah Night Live, Alec Baldwin, Tuck Bugford. I need it. I need it. Let me tell you, sales pew, pew, pew. because you're so hated that when you have your little slick trollops up there. Candy asses dancing around like Colbert and them lying about me. People go, hell, this must be good stuff. It's called Infowars.com. So um, they know none of that's working, so they're going to hardcore censorship. And I just hope the Streisand effect kicks in here uh, and that people keep getting the links out and the articles out and know that you're defying them when you do. A lot of folks keep asking me, what is the Streisand effect? So uh, I'll tell you what, Gavin, why don't you hold the camera on... Uh, on, on Harrison here, Harrison Smith, so he can make some comments while I find the Streisand effect. Go ahead. Uh, well, I only know about the Streisand effect because of South Park, but uh, no, I think it absolutely, it always will uh, cause people to look for you more and look at you more. And honestly, we kind of do, maybe I'm, I'm blowing it here, but we actually like, when Colbert does a uh, Tuck Buckford or something, we all gather around at the office and watch it. it. There's hardly a day goes by that I don't walk through the hall and hear somebody singing, we love our Somalis. Oh, we love so our good. Muslims too. Oh, they're so good. Oh, they're so sweet. So yeah, please stop doing those. Stop doing those parodies. We really, it, it hurts us deep inside and everybody who likes them for And this is all an elaborate thing to manipulate you into, into stopping. Yeah, well, stop, 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 stop. Yeah, please. Please, please, please stop. Let me get on my knees. You're hurting me so bad. <laughs> You're so credible, CNN, when you attack me. Please stop, Anderson Cooper, when you said I lied that George Soros wasn't ever a Nazi collaborator. It hurt me bad. <laughs> Please stop it. <laughs> Please. <laughs> but now they are going to something effective. That's just outright delisting us. And then Google puts little disinformation blurbs written by the discredited Snopes about us where they lie about what we said, misrepresent what we said, and then create some false statement. Or sometimes they just outright lie. They go, all 14, and it's 17, all 14 agencies, people say the 16, others no, the 17th, 
All 14 agencies agree the Russians physically stole the election. And Aquaman summoned three giant whales. Sorry, go ahead. No, that, uh, just yesterday I was showing my friends, I was going, look, see, they're, they're fact-checking us. And literally, I was showing them in real time. See, it says it's false. Let's click on it. Let's go to the video where it's clearly real. I mean, I can't remember exactly which one. I mean, it was the one where we reported where Loretta Lynch said, you'll have to be ready for blood and death in the you should You should do some videos yourself. You do some great ones. Reports debunking that. Right, just and just, and just, and just show a couple of them each time and go, there it is, totally debunked. Yeah, she said, there may need to be violence, war on the streets. We may have yeah, to no, no, she didn't. No, Snopes says she didn't, Alex. So she didn't, you know, because Snopes, Snopes knows. And they said she never said that. So even though you can watch the video of her saying it, Snopes knows that it's not true. Oh, and the, the other one was the November 4th. They said, Alex Jones said that they were planning a, a world or a, a, you know, a revolution on November 4th. Totally false. That never happened. And then, you know, I'm, I pull up the pictures where they're blocking the freeway holding signs saying November 4th, it begins. Projecting it onto buildings, giant. T uh, Trump, Trump Prince, uh, Pence regime must go November 4th. It begins. Full page ads. Just yeah. because it failed, thank God, because we were ready exactly. for it. See, first they denied it was happening. While they promote it to their people, they go, it doesn't exist. Jones is crazy. Kill him. Murder the police. Take over. Death. Kill. Yeah. Kill. We've got a new NBC piece, and we're like, my favorite thing that happened this year was the attack on Rand Paul. <laughs> I mean, these people. Which, which one? <laughs> I mean, there have been multiple, and he's, he survived getting shot, or, you know, getting shot at, and he survived uh, getting attacked, getting five of his ribs broken. I mean, that's, that's, really, that's actually the most serious thing. I, I can't them. believe that there's not more of an outcry than the fact that a, a senator who's, like, the only senator really standing up hardcore. Yeah, because let's say he's more. better than Trump on policy. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and they want him dead. <laughs> anyway, Streisand effect here, I'll show you this. She had this giant mansion. That was on the beach. You know, she's been saying global warming's going to come. It's going to flood. You can't live on the beach. Well, people go, hey, lady, you know, you've got this, whatever it was, you know, $18 million, whatever it was, uh, house. You can read the article about it. And so she tried to make them shut it down. And, and, and she started threatening to sue people and stuff and cease and desist letters. Well, at first it worked. Then it exploded. And that's the Streisand effect. So if you try to shut something down, it tends to blow up in your face. Uh, but... Since you mentioned that, let me go to InfoWars and show you the Rand Paul thing. Because I'm going from memory. I don't, I don't know if it was MSNBC or was it CNN. They all just, they just all run together in my mind. And, you know, we do make mistakes, too. That's why I can't even type in right. See? We do make mistakes. I'm so not used to PCs. Duh. Here we go. Okay, breaking live. Head of Google announces plan to censor Russian news. False flag imminent. Um, exclusive deep state planning false flag cyber attack to blame Russia. I guess they got two things up about this. Bill Clinton ignores questions about Al Franken's sexual claims. That's, okay, that's, that's, that's David Knight live right there. I saw it this morning. Political prisoner. Will the left stop going berserk over racism? Well, when they've totally taken over and divided, here it is. It was MSNBC, so I was right, it was NBC. And here she is. MSNBC host calls for Rand Paul assault. Her favorite story. I mean, these people are just sick. One of her favorite stories. You know, they have hashtag hunt, hunt Republicans. This person said, my favorite story is Casey Hunt being mugged. Oh, that's right. It hasn't happened yet. Sure, we'll hear about it soon. Mock groping, really? Again, I'm just reading comments. I'm not calling for this. I'm just showing people sarcasm. So here, here, let's watch the video just to hear this crap. Today on the incident that left Senator Rand Paul with six broken ribs. This might be one of my favorite stories, although, of course, we don't. Uh, one is uh, clearly Senator Paul is still struggling. <laughs> Renee Boucher is accused of beating the senator. She did that for publicity and on purpose to signal, oh, I don't want to call for violence. Oh, but didn't even say it. Didn't even do her full retraction right after. Oh, I'm not calling for violence, but I sure hope Hillary ends up dying. Hypothetically, I didn't say that. I'm showing what the cop of crap they're saying. Oh, my favorite story was Hillary Clinton falling down. I hope something bad happens to her, but I'm not, I don't actually hope that because she's such a horrible, evil a poster girl for the Democrats and the globalists. I hope she lives another hundred years, don't you guys? <laughs> Seriously, last she should thing. run again. Yeah, Hillary. For, I, I'm for starting her exploratory committee. Yeah. I'm serious. I'm going to donate. Well, how about Millie going out and doing that report the other day 
where there's all these Hillary supporters in Austin. She's wearing the Bill Clinton rape shirt, and they're accosting Millie because how dare you bring up Bill Clinton's alleged rape? Meanwhile, four more women come out, and supposedly there's a whole new controversy with Bill Clinton. Oh, it's incredible. It's incredible. So here you go. The real controversy is him on the pedophile airplane. You know, they make hitting on a woman the same thing as rape or the same thing as being a pedophile now. They act in the news like hitting on a woman, Charlie Rose, hit on a bunch of women, as if that's tantamount to raping somebody or being a pedophile. It's really weird. They're totally blurring the lines. They're just lines. blurring it all and getting everybody sick of hearing about it. They're titrating the dose until we get conditioned here. Let's hear from her again, drooling over calls for violence. Details today on the incident that left Senator Rand Paul with six broken ribs. This might be one of my favorite stories, although, of course, we don't uh, want to. Uh, clearly, Senator Paul is still struggling. Paul's neighbor, Renee Boucher, is accused of beating the senator. And GQ reports that lawn care issues may well have been at the heart of the dispute. A neighbor told the magazine that Boucher pays about $150 a month for professional landscaping. Okay, they talked to all the neighbors. They say none of that's true. GQ's total fake news with that foaming at the mouth weirdo uh, over there, uh, Keith Oberman, calling for violence everywhere. So it's just all a complete joke. Bottom line, we're under attack. A couple years ago, I got contacted by Facebook executives, and they're like, why don't you come to New York, hang out, and, you know, be nice. Hey, we're going to, you know, give you this Facebook mentions that celebrities have, and if you're nice things, you know, and I'd, I'd do it like it'd have a million views every time. They just had taken the governor off. Sometimes five million, ten million. And man, I didn't show up about censorship that was going on. Went down to, you know, 50,000. And that's 100,000. That's you on the page there that happened to be on the page that happened to then share it. And sometimes you get excited and we still reach a million people. Paul Watson, though, even after that, would post videos to my Facebook. He had some with 37 million views. About a year ago... About, eight, about nine months ago, they just deleted 50 or 60 of them. All these videos with above 10 million views, because those just keep going viral. People go, hell, this has got 10 million views. This has got 20 million views. This has got 37 million views. I need to watch this. All gone, just in one night. Because those would have just kept growing forever. They'd be 100 million views now. So we've won the fight for hearts and minds. We've proven we've got the ideas that are sexy and truthful and popular. We've proven we're grassroots. We've proven we're dogged. I'm very thankful to all of you out there, and I appreciate what you've done. Just know this. We picked a fight with the New World Order. We're starting to win, but now's the time. We need you to be more active. Start your own Facebook, your own Twitter, your own YouTube. Do your own local radio show, your own access show, your own newsletter. Letters to the editor. Call into C-SPAN. Call into my show. All, all of us just doing a little something together, moving the world. And some people are doing a whole hell of a lot, like Harrison Smith here and Gavin Wentz and his lovely uh, lady, Millie Weaver, and the great work they're doing, even though you know they're, they're a family taking care of their, 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 their sweet young son uh, who comes and plays with my daughter. Uh, you know, they get so much out every week and you know, millions of views every week and big breaking news stories because of their courage. It takes courage to go out to Hillary book signing on the side of the street. They attack you. And, you know, and, and we had, uh, she was out there when the chicken attacked them. And, you can, and I tell people, yeah, a guy in a chicken suit attacked us and broke our microphone. People go, really? And then we go, no, it's, it's true. And then you have a shot of a chicken running down the street with police chasing him. Uh, you cannot make this up. Truth turns the fiction. There's an adventure happening. There's a frontier out there of the reawakening. And we want you to be part of it. And you are part of it. But we want you to realize how treasured you are, how special you are, how amazing you are, and how this is a global revolution against tyranny. Doesn't mean I'm perfect or Rand Paul's perfect or, 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 or Trump's perfect. No, but we're not out to get you. We share your values of prosperity and freedom. We don't want to be under Islamic rule or socialist rule or any type of fascism or authoritarianism. And we're standing up. We're we're the producers of every race, color, and creed, and we're kicking ass. The sleeping giant is awake. You want to say anything? Just keep tuning in to InfoWars. It's nonstop breaking news. That's about it. Yeah. There are so many big stories now that we, we break so much that it's like all this stuff should go viral, and a lot of it doesn't because it's, and plus, also, some of the mystery's been lost. Now that we're proven right about all this stuff, it's almost like, okay, yeah, there is a world government. It is authoritarian. It's really evil. We kind of know, Alex. Okay. Well, then what's next? we got to keep fighting them each step of the way or their narratives are going to win. This is like a football game. I knew we were in a football game for all the marbles. People were asleep on the field. I finally woke people up. You woke people up. And now we got to play the game. See, first step, get people away. Now it's going, like, okay, we got a tyrannical world government. CNN admits fluoride's brain damaging our kids and on purpose. And the government admits they're putting cancer viruses and vaccines. What do we do? 
And a lot of folks are going, okay, this is real. I'm going to join them. A lot of people are doing that. I mean, it's, and they're trying to show off like Gruber on TV. Oh, I rip people off. I lie. You know, you got the head of the vaccine program in Texas for a whole university on TV going, I just want to poison people and I'm going to kill whites. And she's a white lady and we're taking over. And they're just like, yeah. they're like, ma'am, you don't tell them the real plan. Because a lot of these folks get into it. They're like, I'm your doctor. Now, if you're IQ reduction, bring your baby in. And you, and you think that sounds psychotic. This is the bioethics boards. They get the beds ready and they get the defibrillators ready and they get the, 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 the uh, innovation ready. Uh, where they put them on respirators when they come in to give the preemies their vaccines because they never gave them shots till six years ago. And policy changed through the bioethics boards, through the big pharma boards. They said, we're going to give pregnant women shots even though it causes miscarriage. Now those are way up. We're going to give newborns more shots and we're going to give preemies. And they went, it kills preemies to give them shots most of the time they go. It's like wasp stinks, you know, autoimmune response. They go, doesn't matter. So now, now the bioethics boards are coming and saying, don't, put them on respirators, they're preemies, they shouldn't have lived anyways. Just like, you understand what I just told you is true. Bayer, over a million people they know got HIV and hepatitis and died from it, and the corporate documents show, they said, sir, we knowingly have been doing this for 10 years, we've affected millions, and, and, and they write in the corporate minutes, they go, they're hemophiliacs, we're doing the world a favor. You remember that. Now you know why they hate us, because I know who they are, folks. They love brain damaging your children. When they walk around an airport and see us all like mutants and stumble around, going, they, they feel powerful. They feel good. It's their dominance over you. So you've been warned, folks. Oh, don't believe me about the miscarriages are way up? And they admit it's vaccines when we show you? Just type in vaccine link to miscarriage. And it goes, mysteries. Why are miscarriages way up and infant mortality way up in Western countries? Well, these studies by, you know, show it was the vaccines. But they go, but these scientists say the, the study isn't clear. The damn inserts until six years ago said, never give it to a preemie. Never give it to a, 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 a pregnant woman. Any doctor will tell you they were taught in medical school until six years ago that. This is established, incontrovertible fact. It's fact. And all you assholes at Snopes, you paid off globalists. You know, Snopes reportedly got investigated for spending the money it got for like hookers and all this other crap. And that's it. They just got a bunch of mercenaries that don't care. And they'll sit there and type anything they want in. Do you understand? It, it's on your hands. Even if you're not the ones killing or brain damaging these babies, when you cover this stuff up, it's not funny. Well, if you really, really want to test the waters on this vaccine issue, have children and watch how the doctors and the nurses will try to push these shots on you and then resist doing it and watch their behavior. Millie and I were in a major car accident. Our son was born premature and when we're at the hospital, they wanted to inject him with, I think it was like six or seven yeah. shots. We're like, no. He's and one of the shots accident. has three things in it. Yeah, exactly. And so, so that's while like, this was going that's on. Five, six, uh, that's four, five, six, seven. So while this is going on, Millie's literally recovering from having a C-section that she wasn't supposed to have, but her pelvis was broken in the car accident, so we had to do the C-section. So she's recovering. I'm there with our, our premature son, and the nurses are like, we need to vaccinate her. I'm like, sorry, I'm not, you know, we're not going to do this. We've already signed the paperwork, etc. Then the nurses go into the back corner and start saying, you know what we should do? We should drug test this baby for marijuana. Because see, we were living in Colorado. A lot of people use marijuana. It's legal in Colorado. And they thought, oh, we'll get around this. We'll go ahead, test the baby for marijuana. And take your baby. And take the baby. And that's how this stuff is. The whole time she was pregnant, they're trying to push all these types of vaccines on me. And, and, listen, and the crazy. nurses that won't go on with the tyranny, they get fired. Yes. They make the nurses take it all, too. So what ended up happening? I know you guys, you guys don't even smoke pill. No. What ended up happening is uh, one nurse said, how dare you? These people were just in a bad, horrific accident. They're lucky the baby's alive. They're lucky to be alive. It was a, it was a near a head-on collision at over 60 miles per hour. And they're getting rid of all yeah. those people. They're getting rid of the, of, of the and, and it's all going to robots where a computer tells you what you're going to do under bioethics so that good nurse can't say no. Yep, and so now we try to get health care for our son for basic things like when he gets sick or whatever. They won't see him because he's not vaccinated. Well, you have to search engine yeah. clinics in your town it's not that, easy. that don't push vaccines. We always went to one with my children, and one of my children is 15 now, 
because I search engine on whole Google, you know, uh, 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 anti-vaccine uh, doctors in your area or, 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 or doctors that let you not do vaccines. And this guy pulled me aside when I was over my second child. And he goes, you know why I'm anti-vaccine or don't push anything on you? He goes, just about a, you know, a few years ago, or it was a decade ago, I forget what he said. He was the founder of this pediatrics facility. He didn't want me to say the name. He, he, he goes, we still give the live polio vaccine before school at these school clinics in the poor areas where the kids told they gotta go, it's the law, it's not. It's got live cancer viruses. I go, I know. That's in 40. He goes, that's been illegal since 1968 to give in the US. They've got government stockpiles and I refuse to do it. And then he, he, he kind of shakes, he goes, but don't you ever tell anybody my name when you tell that. And I go, Doc, I already know that. How about the video? Now, now listen, he retired. He retired like six years later. Now, I had kids in there in the same clinic. And now my, my wife, my new wife, went with our baby for well checks. And they all got around her and told her she was wrong, told her it was the law, and then said, you get out of here. We don't, uh, we're not going to treat your baby to make her feel bad. And again, we have these videos out of California where they show up at the school bus stop and tell the mother, we're going to arrest you. Your child hasn't been vaccinated. Come with us. We've got a van to get them shots. And the mother goes, there's no law. You can't do that. It's all color of law. Folks, this is serious authoritarianism, and they want the president to put it in you. They admit now measles, mumps, rubella is way up, and it's coming from the vaccinated population. That's mainstream news. They admit higher educated you are, the more you're unvaccinated. Because, of course, you can learn immunity. It's 600 years old from England, smallpox. They learned to take a toothpick, basically, go into the pus, go into the sore, and then they would come back over to the person who wasn't sick. Because they started to think, if you catch this when you're already run down, that's when it kills you. They noticed when somebody's already sick, they get this, then they die. If you're healthy, we give it to you, you're going to get sick, but you have a better chance of living. And even then, the doctors were smart enough. They'd say, this may kill your son or daughter, or you, but if we give it to you when you're healthy, we found you'll make it through it but they told you it could kill you and back then people were run down and things smallpox killed you know what was it 10 15 percent now it's like hardly anybody if you get it so they can show you the, the worst cases where it's all disfiguring and the rest of it my dad before he retired as a dentist two years ago an oral surgeon had knew all these old patients that loved him he said hundreds of them would come in during vaccine drives and go, I took the flu shot, I don't know who I am now, I think it's that, is it bad? Or they'd get shingles, which is basically herpes, all over their body, and they'd, and, and, and they'd say, I took the shingles shot last week. And my dad's like looking up the incubation period, and then it came out in the news, the shingle shot was giving it to them. And a lot of them died. This is population control, it's how they're getting rid of the old people. I mean, you understand this isn't our opinion, folks, go ahead. Yeah, it's just amazing. Millie even got into a debate with the primary care physician about the ingredients of vaccines, and he didn't know what the ingredients were. And she said, well, what about the insert? And she said, well, what about the preservatives? That, you know, why is there, you know, preservatives inside these, these vaccines that are known to actually not be good for you? And his response was, well, they got to last on the shelf somehow. I mean, literally. They have oral, uh, nasal, other forms of taking vaccines that don't require an injection, which have been proven to be healthier and safer, but they won't store those on the shelf. Because then it actually goes yeah. through your immune exactly. system and your immune, like, just like the old thing was giving it right in the skin yep. with smallpox, yep. because that's where the immune system is. That's where it, you don't inject it into a muscle and then have the body fight it from there. Everybody knows that's how you get tetanus and all that is getting things deep in you. That's what would, uh, I'm not saying you get it from the shot, I'm saying tetanus-like things, is it's going through all your defenses. It goes in your nasal or your mouth, it's going through the defenses. Bingo. Instead of uh, bypassing. bypassing the defenses. But let me show you. You can type in, Texas vaccine director says kill all white people. She was at a three-day conference put on by the UN, the federal government. Oh no. Talking about how kill all the white people and highly educated like Pol Pot. She's actually saying it because they're the ones that won't take the shots. Here, let me find where she says it. Here, I've got the clip right here. Okay, this is not a joke. This is not a game. Here it is. And she talks about how they're bullying the public and how the minorities are bending over, but the evil white people aren't. Here it is. Um... I'm complaining because the average pediatrician or internist has 10 minutes for a visit and you want to have them go get media trained? Mm -hmm. Excuse me. What's up? 
the, the fight, the battle is being fought. One family, one physician, one health center. That's why we're doing as well as we are. We're talking about the minority and strategies against the minority. So I have the solution. Every study published in the last five years, when you look at vaccine refusers, I'm not talking about, well, hesitants, most of them we can talk into coming to terms, but refusers. We'll just get rid of all the whites in the United States because Michigan is the most diverse city in the entire United States. There's seven Asian languages spoken in that city. I've been a minority for more than 20 years. I love the city it. Of Houston, and the, the majority is we call Hispanic. That is not a race or an ethnicity. That is a political designation. But a lot of them are from Central, South America, Mexico. Guess who wants to get vaccinated the most? Immigrants. Part that's, of it. That's what made Donald Trump's uh, comment about bringing diseases. <laughs> They're all coughing and sick while they're talking about this. Well, 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 kind of let me make this point. Let me make this point. This is a conference on how to lie to you and bully you. And she said strategies against the minority, the white people. And then it's a whole leftist. Yeah, let's bash Trump. Yeah, let's bash. It's literally an anti-America, anti-white cult and it's all old white people running it and it's all about how these minorities are submitting to us well mexico made it the law to give gardasil that was an experimental shot that admittedly kills large percentages of people that take it they have ratcheted up the propaganda to where people are accepting their daughters getting paralyzed or dying and it's an unproven vaccine that rick perry initiated under an emergency edict so the federal vaccine damage fund kicked in so merck could put a drug they knew was killing people on the market and then vaccine companies have immunities to where they can't even be sued if they've they been paid eight billion dollars secretly since 1983 in the vaccine damage fund want me to show you that i know it sounds crazy to say i got the head of the vaccine program saying we need to kill all the white people or you know the vaccine damage fund they, they hate me, folks, because I show it. You want to see a Harvard study on fluoride lowering your IQ 15 points? Want to see it? I mean, this isn't a game, people. And that's what's so sick about the media and the corporate whores that attack us and go along with all this. They think we're stupid. They think we are idiots. They think you're done. They think it's over, the fluoride and everything they've done. And with America getting founded particularly by Scots. That was kind of the group that was always at war with the British and everybody else who would never be conquered. That was kind of the detonator switch in the United States, especially Texas was like half Scott at the time of 1836. Uh, that's the little secret, they've written books on it. And there is this, don't trust the government, don't drink that wine the British just shipped in, don't, you know, and I'm not bashing the Brits, I'm, I'm Welsh. The point is, is that yeah, it's true. It's paranoid white people. You're not damn paranoid. Like Grandma said, keep a little money buried out in the back because the banks sometimes take it. Now it's starting to happen again. These aren't stupid people. They've lived a long time. And, and by the way, in Africa and all over the place, people run now from the UN vaccine people. Oh, it's true. A hundred years ago, they'd run up wanting the doctor stuff. They don't want it now. It's running water. It's, it's, it's sanitary conditions, it's, it's antibiotics, it's, it's, it's cleaning yourself, it's disinfectants. It's why in the 20s in the Western world, infectious diseases went like this. And as soon as third world countries get it, it goes like that. Here's, I can show you the curves from every country, from Australia to Nigeria, it doesn't matter. They, they all hit the curve later, but it's once it goes like that. But what happened? Starts dropping in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. Vaccines go really wild in the 50s and 60s. It goes bloop. So it's not as bad as it was 100 years ago, but it's bloop. It's plumped back up. And, and you can look at graphs when they bring glyphosates in. The breast cancer goes just, it doesn't go like this. It goes, because it grows it. it. It says in their own inserts, it grows breast cancers. Well, I want to say one so, thing. So look, look, here's the graph. I mean, folks, I'm talking about glyphosate gets introduced. In terms of pieces of paper that... Oh, and this thing that, 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 that they put on their wall. That people uh, have less people disease. People that have been here a long time. People that have less disease in the third world, everybody knows that's a load of shit. 
Everybody knows we've had cholera coming in. We've got uh, the Black Plague pouring in. We've got cases of leprosy that I was telling about 10 years ago that are now in the news. Let me tell you, you can look at these graphs. All over the world, the graphs are like this. Infant mortality, everything, infectious diseases, it's doing this, it's the vaccines. And it's the untreated third world populations that are coming in. Let me show you another graph. You can look these up yourself. Like I, I'll, I'll show you right now. You can type in infectious diseases, first world uh, graph, and it, and it shows it. Here's another one. Let me think of the graph I've seen. It's, uh, I gotta think of the search engine term, I can pull it up. What was the next graph I was gonna show? Um, Infant mortality is way up. Glyphosate or? Oh, glyphosate, yeah. So, glyphosate's getting brought in. What, like, it was like 1980. And then, like, here we are. And again, I've seen these graphs so many times. Depending on where the country adopts glyphosates, and then once it gets to system wide use, you know, it might take five years, ten years for it to even get into use. But as soon as it becomes ubiquitous, cancer rates go And they don't even test water for glyphosate. It's one of the things that... Because they, they said it's good for you. Yep. But then the, the guy that put out that PR, remember famously, they go, he's the guy that for 30 years says it. They go, here, you drink it. He goes, I'm not freaking crazy. Because <laughs> yeah, right. you know how they kill themselves? Because they, they told them it's safe, it's good, it poisons all their water. In India, they told them, oh, use this. They got even a form of Roundup that's even stronger for cotton. You know how the farmers killed themselves there? And then they're able to sue because they told them it's safe. They drink a glass of Roundup. You want to see those articles? What was the one I said I'd pull up? Um, I was just saying I'd pull one up here. Oh, the glyphosate or the... Uh, yeah, let me pull up the uh, lobbyist that says Roundup does, so you can drink Roundup. Here, let me pull one up. And we can do this all day here, folks. It's out of their mouths. Loretta Lynch, we need to get violent. Snope says I'm a liar. The head PR guy from Monsanto. I'll drink a glass of that. It, it, you, know, you can drink it. Everybody heard that. And then he, I'm not going to drink that. I mean, this, they did this. Gruber says you're dumb. Obamacare's a ripoff job. F you. See, I mean, and they're, and they're saying F you again. Schmidt and all of them. Let me see. Lobbyist. Behind. Roundup. I'm not spelling right. Up uh, refuses. Weren't they giving kickbacks to the EPA? Everything. Oh, here he is. Here he is. I do not believe that glyphosate in Argentina is causing increases in cancer. You can drink a whole quart of it and it won't hurt you. Yes, are, you want to drink some? We have some here. I'd be happy to, actually. But yeah. not, not really, but... Not really. I know it wouldn't hurt if, me. If, if, if you say so, I have some glyphosate. No, no, I'm not stupid. Ah, okay, so you... you, you no, but I know... So it's dangerous, I know, right? I know people try to commit suicide with it and fail no, fairly that's, regularly. That's <laughs> the truth. It's, it's not dangerous, dangerous to humans. No, it's no. not. So are you ready to drink one glass of no, glyphosate? No, I'm not an idiot. Interview me about golden rice. That's indeed, what I'm talking indeed, about. Indeed. Okay, then it's except, finished. Except then the interview is finished. That's a, that's a good way to solve things. Yeah. Here, complete jerk. They fail quite regularly because they're doing so they can sue again. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. I think the number's like 200,000 farmers have committed suicide in India this with it. Crazy, yeah. yeah. Well, let's check. Let's fact check me on that here because, you know, here we go. You know, we've got to start our own fact checking side. That's real, and just right? show they're full of crap and then fact check their fact checks. That's the answer. Putting you guys in charge of it. Let's do it. It'd be a real simple site, you know. Snope check. Yeah, Snope check. Let's go grab the name right now. God almighty. One thing I would like to what say. What was I supposed to look up? Uh, what were you looking up? Somebody on the comments, tell us. The uh, oh, the two hundred thousand farmers. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The two hundred thousand. Oh yeah, a number of farmers have died. What were you gonna say? Well, people like to joke about the gay frogs, but the thing you really need to do if you think it's so funny is look up Tyrone B. Hayes, the Berkeley professor that conducted the study, and the thing you need to understand about the particular breed of frogs he used. These historically were used in pregnancy testing of women because the frogs and humans happen to have a very similar hormone correlation. 
And so the fact that the frog sexuality is changed by these chemicals is extremely alarming because of the correlation between human hormone and this particular frog's hormone um, system. Wow. So it's, it's not very funny. Well, it, 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 it's, it's animal system wide it's happening too. Farmer suicides in India. Oh, see, this is all the fake news at Google. They now force feed all this Monsanto. The GMO suicide myth, and it is good to drink, and, you know, put it in Kool-Aid. Everything now is this BS, man. Oh, Wikipedia, they're good liberals. They'll tell the truth. There is 12,000 12, per year, the last one down there. Yeah, it says more than 250,000 farmers are committed suicide. But, oh, they say it's not true, even though there's documentaries and an 80%... Increase in farmer suicide. But don't listen to the Indian newspapers. Snopes and Wikipedia. Wikipedia is just as bad now with these guys. Yeah. I mean, they'll be good on like Mary Queen of Scots or, you know, the invention of the combustion engine or something. But when it comes to politics, it's like Jones is a racist and is, uh, is unalloyed. The moon's made out of cheese. Well, it's because Tom Brokaw. Tom Brokaw says you're a racist. You are. And, you know, has it hurt me? No, it's a load of crap. All right, David Knight's still on. Yeah. For another 10 minutes that I'm coming on here, i got to get ready. Uh, David Knight's in there right now live, Infowars.com forward slash show. It's happening. They're taking your freedom away, folks. They know you're waking up, so they're moving in quickly. That's exposing them. But if we don't get upset about it and take action, uh, they can win. So thank you all for your support, Infowars.com forward slash show. But whatever you do, when this video gets done archiving, spread it out to everybody you know because it's really important information. Thanks a lot. God bless you. Have a great Thanksgiving. Good job, guys.